Do you remember the whole power hour phase on YouTube where people were doing a power hour they would set a timer for an hour and see what they get, could get done? I'm going to do something similar this morning and just see what I can get done. But one of the things I really want to do, even if my house is a complete disaster, it doesn't matter. I want to get some spring decor up because I feel like that's going to energize me. Spring always gives me a new sense of energy. You know, you get your new sense of energy in January with the new year and then you fizzle through February and then spring comes and you get another shot of energy. So I feel like I've got too many pans on the fire right now and, you know, the girls are off. We take a week off in February in our schools here in Maine, and so they are on February break, and so I'm trying to do fun things with them. We went to a movie. That was great. Today, Yvonne, she just loves to grocery shop, and we have a new Costco here, and we have not been. It's like 40 minutes away, and so we're going to do that today. But I really want to at least do the best I can this morning for a good hour and then see if I can get it edited and uploaded for you. But I've been really wanting to get spring decor up and then see if I need anything else. I usually just do flowers and I have some lemon stuff, which I usually do in the summer. But then I was thinking of how much I enjoy kind of having themes for Christmas in each room, not necessarily doing the same color scheme throughout. And I thought, well, maybe I should do some lemon stuff, even though it's spring. I mean, you can have lemonade in the spring, right? So I might look into that as well. We will do some cleaning. Can't avoid that, but it's not gonna be a ride or die thing because I have about an hour to work with total. I just got some lens cleaner from Amazon. I sure hope it works well. Even Leo is feeling the whole February slowdown. As you can see, he seems to be spending a lot more time napping. So I'm going to go get my uh, kitchen curtain ironed and my pillow covers. And so then the first thing I'm gonna do is put up the kitchen curtain because if nothing else were to happen, having that curtain up is gonna make me so happy. It's time to bring up the spring decor. Check it out, we're just gonna ignore it. Ignore it. Actually, I'm gonna put this on stage for the person it belongs to. It's her piggy bank. I love this curtain so much and hopefully there'll eventually be something cute here 
These are vases, vases that we had out for Valentine's Day. So I'm probably going to put these away for now, even though they might come right back up if I get some spring flowers. I'm just going to ignore this because this is going to have to get dealt with first. Just shut the door. I just realized I forgot my throw pillow, so we're going into the dark basement. Look, the basement is brighter than my staircase. Yep. Uh, right here. Actually, on the other side is the ones I'm looking for because I think it's clean. I don't know. Pull it all down. Woo! Oh no. <laughs> Crash. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. That one. And then this one, I feel like these are smaller than these, so these would probably be better. I'm going to get my covers ironed, figure out how many I'm using, and then I'll come down here and get the pillows. Isn't this so much more fun than cleaning? <laughs> Cleaning is going to have to happen, but sometimes you gotta say, you know, cleaning will happen. But right now, I'm gonna cheer myself up with some spring decor and maybe that will motivate me to clean. Look, that's been in the basement since last fall and it doesn't even need to be ironed. I didn't use all of these last year. So they didn't all get a check. This one has pen on it. That's nice. I think I only use the one that is already in on a pillow. Maybe that's not pen. Maybe that's <laughs> yeah, that's part of the drawing. Because they have all this, but then when I saw that one, I thought it was a pen mark. Excuse the blurriness here. I am ironing and I have a tied stain stick that I'm using to get out any little spots that I see. And some of them are a little tougher than others. Let's skip ahead so that you don't have to see any more of these blurry shots. This stuff, this is amazing. My guess is two-year-old guacamole. Because I don't think I used these last year. So we're saying yellow goes well because there is yellow in this painting, which is kind of a bit of a focal point. So I was going between this and this, but since I'm probably going to put a yellow pillow on the couch, I think I'm going to bring the lemon over here. Does that look too big though? That looks too big, doesn't it? Too big physically for the shelf maybe, yeah. but too big as a plant though. This guy is definitely coming up here. I found this face and it's really kind of too big, but I have an idea. So I'm gonna get it washed off. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately, I must have got rid of my decorative sand and decorative pebbles, but that is still an option is to get some of those. But what, what I thought I would try is these shells. I have no idea why I bought them, what I bought them for. But if I put them in here, they'll act as soil, and then I can stick my, hopefully, my flowers down in the middle of them. So let's see if I can get some layering going on here. What do you think? I remember my lemon covers being too small for the throw pillows I have, but then I realized these ones are smaller. So I'm actually going to use these, cover them, and put these pillowcases in the living room as well. I actually have two more of these throw pillows, but they're in the room that Cresia is sleeping in. And I have two more lemon pillowcases. So I will be putting one in each of our rocking chairs. One will be in the rocking chair that I'm in now. And one will be in the other rocking chair, which is beside it. And then I'll have two on the couch. So right now I'm using two different prints, but what I'll probably do is put one print on the couch and one print on the rocking chairs. So hopefully that's not going to be too much design for me. I do struggle having too much visual clutter. So my house is kept very simple most of the time, even though I do love to do these, you know, seasonal decorations, but we're just gonna try it out. And if it doesn't work, I can always change my mind later. With that done, I'm gonna go do some more ironing and iron the other table runner that I have that is in lemon that I want to use in my dining room. I'm really surprised by how little I have, but last year I was almost kind of like over it. So I don't know if I decluttered thinking I wasn't going to do much or if I thought I would buy new stuff. Either way, this stuff needs to get cleaned up. Papers. I think these are these trash. No, these aren't trash. Okay. Oh, the here's my trash. Usually, I use these little guys, but I actually think I might put these in the kitchen. I don't feel like I have enough for in here because, I don't know, I suppose I could just do very minimally, like right here, and then put the lemon somewhere else. And then if this guy is kind of up, I mean, that's cute. But I feel like if I put this here and just went minimal for now, and then put the lemon runner on the table, that might be nicer. And I could do this. That's cute, right? 
That doesn't go. Just show me I need something here right and something there and there but this is a good start I think what I'm gonna do is put these here this little guy maybe he needs to be back here he falls over and this rabbit will go here that's cute yeah I like that I just need to move this a little <clears throat> or Maybe put this here. Yeah, that's better. And then soap can go here. Little family. Little springtime family. I'll have to show you this at night sometime so that the lighting is better. is up but this will be the theme in this room just to give you an idea in tomorrow's video you'll definitely see me dealing with all of this and this and taking care of these blank spaces and doing something with all of this but for now I'm gonna get this video ready for you I'm so excited like I was very muted in this video because people are sleeping so I was trying to be quiet my husband's working but I am super excited to be spring decorating so I am going to get this edited and up for you, so come back tomorrow. Also, my very first trip to Costco, I'll let you know what I think about that, because I've been a Sam's Club girl all this time. We never had a Costco, so remember, as always, that God loves you, and I love you, too, and I can't wait to see you next time.